Prime fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we are here today doing the Ultimate Iron Man Competition Season Zero. Uh, this is pre-mission week three, pre-mission, or pre-week three mission uh, vid. What I'm doing right now before prepping for my uh, week three mission is I want to keep working on the CV stuff. And what I did in creative, I just went in and make it made it really kind of slap together a quick, well, quick, took me about, I don't know, three hours of puttering, not really concentrating very fast and doing it. But I came up with something I think should work as a combat a little bit better than my mining rig. Uh, it should be a little bit more robust, it's got some more weaponry, and it's not made for mining at all. But it can haul around my miner into uh, a little bit nastier situation. So if I came across like a patrol vessel or something, it won't get like completely destroyed. Um, having said that, let's take a look at it here. Um, I've already put it into the factory, I just call it my dart. That's basically all it is. It uh, it's a level twenty CV. It's only class one. Um, it's got a fair amount of sathium because it it is at least double thickness hull everywhere of combat steel. Uh, it needs a bunch of neo because of the thrusters and weapons on it. Uh, the iron count is almost done for it because I had an overage from the last one. So takes quite a bit of cobalt. Now I'm a little bit concerned there. I might have to go mine some cobalt. So we're, but I did reduce the amount of arrestrium quite a bit that it's going to need compared to what the bullfrog was. The bullfrog is like 4,000 and it had a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff in it. So I just, I made a new CV. This one should work just, just about as good as the bullfrog. I don't, I don't think I need excessive amounts of high-end thrusters to pull this off so what we're going to do is we're going to go into all the crap now so i think i've got everything sorted out let's go into here i think i've grabbed everything now just double checking oh no see i haven't <laughs> Okay, so I don't need another base. Uh, what? A, oh God! Look at all these. Didn't know I had this container full of stuff. See, well, let's grab it, and we're just gonna start throwing it in the blueprint factory. We need cobalt, so what this stuff need has cobalt, neo, cobalt. We want to grab all the cobalt and neo. Cobalt, and neo, cobalt, and neo. It says Cobalt and Neo. I'm just not seeing it. Cobalt and Neo. Got base. Cobalt. Okay. Let's throw that in. So this will give us some Neo. This will give us a bunch of Neo. This will give us a little bit of Neo. This will give us just the basics. Basics, cobalt, uh, basics, basics, cobalt, 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 oh yeah, we're doing good for, not now, cobalt, not much, cobalt, cobalt, see we're way over on silicone and copper, I knew we we're going to have huge overages on some things. Probably the basics. It's looking like the basic three things are going to get way more than they need. So that's okay. I don't care. It's also knocking down the time it's going to take to spawn in. Okay, well, we've got, oof. That's, gonna, that's okay. We mined a whole bunch of Neo. I mean, the ingot-wise, we have all the ingots for all this stuff if we need. So I definitely have the, the, the mats in ingots. I just... 
I don't want to spend the ingots to do it. So we're gonna we're gonna keep throwing stuff in here. And another thing too is ingots do not decrease the time if you use ingots. So I'm gonna keep using blocks. If I have to, I'll do overages. But at this point, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit overages on stuff and not be able to put blocks in soon. Um, stuff like this stuff. So you know what? Let's because I, I do want to knock the time down, right? And this stuff will knock the time down. Where's the broken blocks? Shutters. Stuff that I'm not going to potentially use for a base or anything, right? If I, well, I doubt I'll make another base in this, in this, uh, save. I guess I'll just grab everything. Anything that's going to knock the time down, I guess. Bulk all the, I can throw all that into the other container. Oops. Okay, so this is just basics. I can put the basics in until the iron caps out. Okay. See, we're knocking the time down really good doing that. Uh, okay, we can only put a little bit more stuff in with iron. Um, okay, so let's find more stuff with, with iron. So ideally, I mean, it sounds crazy, but overages on the other ones still count for time. Um, so things like the windows, even though they're not going to have a lot of iron in them, they have a lot of silicone, which is going to help reduce the time. So let's do those. Let's just grab all that stuff there. Grab that too then. Okay. That way I can put more stuff in than just a few things that just have iron. That's why I'm not putting in the car cargo boxes because they uh, they just have iron. I don't know, does that make sense to you guys? And I think walkways and railings just are iron, so I'm not gonna put those in. Okay. I'll have to look into the other. Um, oops. What I wanted. I want that. Pledgy fingers. Okay, so we should be able to see a very little amount of iron, but it's decreasing the amount of time. This should be a. Ooh, but it did decrease the time by quite a bit. Only a minute on that, but now we're getting close to our, our iron count. Okay, we're way over on silicone, and I knew we'd be way over on the basics, just because I had so many blocks. And this is, I thought I had actually cleaned this out, so. Okay, so at this point, let's just grab all the stuff. And we're going to throw it into the other... Oops, it's just over here, isn't it? Yeah. Let's just try. Oh, actually, that goes in gardening. Oh, that's not the right one for that. Okay. See, that way. Okay, so now we can grab a bunch of stuff that has all three again. Neo. Let's see if we can grab a armored windows. 
SVH, but I don't know why those are in there. The base ones. Uh, I'm not going to put that. I want to actually use those. Warp drive. That has all three. That has all three. Okay. So, here, let me just throw this in here really quick. I know I'm still doing, I'm still doing cleanup, apparently. <laughs> okay. So, console. Uh, what else has basics in it? That. That, that, oof, getting close, but we're knocking time down. That, oof, knocking time down. That, uh-oh, we're maxed out, so I can't. So now the stuff that has more than just the basics in it, I can start putting in. So the these windows, it won't let me know, right, because it, it doesn't. I don't need any more iron. I don't need any more silicone. So it's not going to let me do those. Won't let me do steel blocks. It will let me do this fuel tank. I oh no, this is a T1. It won't let me do that. It won't let me do medical devices. It will, on the other hand, let me do the T2 because that has cobalt. So a little bit of cobalt, but it's now doing overages on the other ones too, which is fine. It's knocking the time down. Uh, projectile turret, I believe, is cobalt? No, right. So I can't use that. Okay. It'll let me do the advanced constructor because it has Neo. Large gen has Neo. Uh, warp drive has lots of Neo. We're knocking it down. We're knocking the time down. That's the whole point of this, right? So hardened steel blocks I could put in because it has sap. Uh, I'm going to hold off on those. Those are SV ones. So I think I'd rather just uh, put those away for now because I can't use those. Now, pulse laser. Okay, let's grab that. Put these away here. can't use them and we'll look to see if there's more stuff yep the oxygen the armored doors shutters looking for stuff with more than just the basics in it that it'll let me book combat steel blocks obviously so we'll grab Actually, you know what? I'll do the hardened steel because they. I'll probably be able to put way more of those in and get rid of some of my uh, space that I'm using up here. Okay. So, also, the pulse lasers, I ended up looting more of those in the hole. Where did I put those? Did I, maybe I haven't emptied this out yeah oh god <sighs> okay <laughs> right this is the one with all the cv thrusters and everything <laughs> okay uh so let's grab these and yeah the plasma cannons look at that i looted nine of them <laughs> that's awesome um and also what else did i loot i looted big didn't i loot big Something big. So we said cobalt. Neo. Okay. So let's start throwing this stuff in. Um, so let's try these plasma cannons. This should count towards the Arrestrium's Ascosium, right? And oh, in a big way. So let's put them all in there. Nice. Reducing our time a bit. Uh, wow, that's half of it. Just those items there. Let's do this pulse laser. Laser, good. And you can see it's uh, we're getting neo and sath, cobalt out of those items too. Gravity gen. This has cobalt. Um, thrusters. More thrusters. 
our neo count is going up, our time is going down. Okay, we're way over on the silicone. We're going to be way over on iron too as soon as I start putting these this sort of stuff in. The iron count's going to start flying up, especially trying to get my sathium up with just blocks. The iron is going to get stupid. But that's okay. Uh, okay, we're doing good for the neo and stuff. Let's keep doing grabbing stuff from here and throwing it in. Yep. Um, TT multi tools or armored doors, advanced constructors. A CV turret. Um, I don't see anything else that has advanced materials in it that I can throw in. I don't want to. I know the. I know those are great. They're full stacks of ammo, and I. I. But I already nuked the plasma cannons that I. <laughs> so I'm. I'm probably never going to use them. I think they have a restrium in them. I can throw those in and see what happens. Okay. Uh, there's that box, I think, has doesn't have any more things with advanced materials. Let's take a look at the second carbo box, so it has nothing in it. Okay, so we might be down to what's just on the base now. Oh no, we got all this stuff too. So, that's right. Okay. And obviously, all the ore that I hand mined, which I got to throw into the furnace. Because it looks like we're probably going to need it. Okay. These stuff have advanced ores in them too, so. And they're parts which will reduce the time. So let's keep putting this in. That. Let's see what we get for these. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of a restroom. Doesn't reduce the time though. Okay, so. Throw that in, and what are we at here? Just over three hours. Pretty good. Now we're doing pretty good. Um, let's throw these in. Reducing time, not much. But now our restrooms escosium count is getting up there, which is good. The neo count is getting up there. Cobalt, we're getting there. We're getting there. Keep throwing these in. Okay, okay, um, I guess we'll start throwing some of this in. I'm going to have to, I think, start throwing in, uh, yeah, we're going to see how our count is going to go way over now, but we're reducing the time huge, and that's it. We can't put any more in. We're down to under an hour. I'm pretty happy with this. Let's let's smelt that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smelt that up. I'm going to throw that in there. We'll get that cooking up. That'll be ready to go pretty quick. And we're going to take that over uh, with us to uh, Friggle and use that to uh, take on the our next mission with instead of an SV. So... Uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys in and we'll get that done. So as soon as that's ready to go, I'll bring you guys back. See you in a bit. Okay, so we are back at the base and you notice a core floating in the air. Well, that core is from, let me turn my jetpack on so I can get up there and show you. <laughs> yes. The CV Mini Miner Point 5, all that's left of it is its core, because I don't think we're going to need it. I think it's just a waste, and 
we're ready to spawn in the CV dart. So I think I'm just going to put the lasers on the front of the dart if I need to mine with it. I've got a couple of uh, harvest cargo boxes and built into it. So yeah, um, and I haven't mined at all with that mini miner and the the dart is a little bit more functional. It doesn't have any grow plots on it, but it pretty much has everything else. So we're going to spawn that in. And then we're going to try and connect it to the <laughs> HP or get the HP in it somehow. I don't know if I can. But we're going to try and connect to the HP. And then we're going to take the HP down and get some more restroom because uh, we are like out. Out. We didn't get enough restroom. So I'm just going to zap this. And. Okay. Now we'll load in the dart. So we're going to spawn this in. Hopefully the platform should be big enough. I think it should be. And my goodness, come on. Really? And yep, there it goes. So we'll just spawn it right there. Okay. So we have the dart. This thing is not the prettiest thing in the world, but what it is is it's more fast, more armored, and more weaponized. Um, the cockpit is actually buried way back way back behind multi-layered bulkhead uh, we've got bulkhead panels coming across and then we've got it in the, the cockpit floating in the center of it enveloped in combat steel in its own little case um, it has no windows of course because they just they're no good but it does have shutters because they're good <laughs> So it's got some guns on it at the front, mostly rocket launchers and uh, uh, rocket turrets. Uh, I don't have enough restroom Zascozy to make any more rocket turrets. So the rest is composed of minigun turrets. So the what I'm hoping to do, because I can manually shoot these, so I'm going to target turrets and whatever I can with with the with the mounted rocket launchers and then I'm going to have these targeting turrets of all types uh, then I'll have these the miniguns picking up pretty much everything except for predator and then I'll have the sentry guns down here I'll have all these sentry guns set on predator and drones or something now I think I already had that program in let's see if it retained any of its logic so I see that it has the custom settings now as long as I don't so yeah it does it, it kept everything so so the sentry guns are set for drones and predators the rocket turrets are set for um, drones, hover vessels, small vessels, capital vessels, bases, and specifically shooting at turrets and mounted weapons. Uh, other than that, they will shoot at drones and NPCs, so Xerax. Um, although I could take that off, I guess, because it's kind of a waste shooting at them. I don't think I'll need to. I'll just keep them as turret busters, I think. Turret sounds hover vessels, small vessels, capital vessels, and bases. That sounds good. Okay. And then we'll apply to group. And then the mini guns. Well, I've got 10 of those. And yeah, I can have 12, I believe, was the max. So 
I like how they mix that up with the cannon turrets and the minigun turrets. Uh, and that is set for aliens, which include drones, NPCs, hover vessels, small vessels, capital vessels. We're not shooting at bases with the minigun turrets, but we are shooting at mounted weapons and th thrusters. Why are we shooting at thrusters? I'm not sure. I think just mounted weapon and turrets. Because if we have to take on capital vessel, if we have to take on anything moving with turrets, it'd be nice to have the minigun shooting at them too, although the rocket turrets are, are deadly accurate because they're homing rockets. Okay, um, we need to make some rockets. Now I think about 150 HMSLs, and they take a restroom also. That's why we need a restroom. So I didn't dig up enough a restroom. So 150 HMSLs. Let's make some of those. So we'll go into our advanced constructor, and that's not where they kept him, but we'll put those stuff in here for now. Uh, it'll be in the ammo fuel constructor. I've got some arrestrium gel, and that's it. Okay, 150 HMSLs. 150 HMSLs. 155. 150. Two arrestrium gel. I'm not going to be able to make much. Four of them. Four times six, 24. Oh well. That's why we need to go find more. And I made a whole bunch of ammo, so we'll take all this. Okay. Nice. Yeah, we don't have much arrestrium. Oh well. And I don't think I had any of that in my, my ammo. I didn't loot any, no. But I do have more of the... Come on. Ah, oh, fine. I'll just take it. Load up, 15. Okay. Okay, so we've got a ton of ammo. I think we've got a ton of fuel. We've got a lot of... Pentaxid for warping. We've got our drills. Uh, what I do want to grab, so what we're going to do is let's. Uh, I'm going to need more oxygen. Yeah, let's grab some more oxygen. Oh, you know what? We're full. So let's. Let's go check this thing out now that we know the turrets are all set up properly. So it's got a bit of a hangar bay, not much. Not much. Um, but it's, you know, it'll get the HV in there and it'll give me, um, it'll give me a protected environment to jump in and out of the HV from. And this just gives us a very minimal construction area, food prep area, some fridge. You can actually see thrusters and if you get too close you can you can burn yourself but as long as you stay grounded you're okay so not bad not bad it's got all the bare necessities a couple armor lockers so it's got lots and lots of cargo storage way more than the um, mining cv but it doesn't have as many cargo uh, harvest boxes it's only got a couple so i think that'll be fine it's got two advanced constructors not just one um it's pretty it, it it's got the repair bay right there repair station let's say uh o2 it's got all the um scanners for the medical type medical stations and up here so this it just goes down to outside and then this goes there's the core right there. And then the cockpit is literally just right there. Um, and then that just goes outside. So <laughs> there's not much to it. So let's go into here. We're going to fill this. Nice. 24,000, 15 mil, <laughs> 3,000. Okay, we're going to fill that. We're going to fill that. We're going to fill that 
Okay, so we need the the uh, missiles. That's fine. We won't have any to go down to the planet with, but what I need to do is hook up my HV. So let's, how are we going to do that? Hmm. This thing flies really, it's actually quite fast and nimble. You can see it just like, gets up to speed really quick. I think it's going to be really good. It'll be a good little miner too. Um, and the thing about it, it out in space, it doesn't cap out its, its energy. It doesn't, uh, yeah, this thing's awesome. It's going to do really good. I think much better than the mining, the little mini miner. So this is a bit of a step up. So let's try and hook up the HV and get some, get some more restroom because I need to pick up some more. Oops, as I crash into my, oh man, I'm denting my stuff. That's horrible. Blow stuff up. It's smashing into it. Okay, so we got to try and hook up our HV. This is not going to be easy out in space. It's really, really freaking difficult, let me tell you. Okay, so I just level off and then I raise up just a smidge. And now I... You know what, should I try and... I should try and go, oops, come on. I should try and go for the angle because that's what the miner's on, right? So let's do that. Okay. Okay. So where do we, do we want to grab it from the, let's try the ramp because that comes down quite far, so. Fast. Come on, come down, come down just a little, and oops, just a little higher, level off, okay, and then back up, come on, and come on. Can I do it without? Oh, I'm just clipping through. Okay. So maybe I can do it. I'm not sure though. Uh, zoom out a bit so I can see if the hitch is right there. Can't see properly. It looks like it is. I think it's in the hitch. So now, if I jump out, we'll go down. We'll just go straight down. And then yeah, I think if I if I fire it up and and just so let's turn all the engines off turn the harvest off power it up shut it down okay now I should be able to just like dump, jump in and it should lock to it right I think it did. Okay, let's see. I should be able to just tell by looking at my control panel, going into my statistics, and yep, it's docked. Not bad, not bad. Uh, that could have been a lot worse. I've had some nightmares trying to dock, redock 
to a different CV out in space, it can be a real pain in the ass. But this time around, I knew not to turn the engines on at all, just to leave it so that it can't move at all. And if it doesn't have any engines on, it just, it doesn't move. It just sits there. I didn't know about the clipping into it though. So that's interesting. Okay. Uh, well, let's get some more oxygen and water and we're going to get, I'm going to grab a bunch of stuff right now and I'm going to stock up the CV and I'll bring you guys back when it's stocked up and we'll go take it down and see how it performs in the atmosphere. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're just uh, just about ready to go. We're just getting some supplies together, and you'll see that... Here, I'll launch my drone. You'll see I finished off the garden really quick. Well, not so much really quick. And so, basically, what I decided to do is I added a couple more food processors, I'll have to group them up and stuff, but I can do that later. And what I've done is I'm growing very, very specific. You notice I'm growing a lot of buds, right? Right? I'm growing buds. Why am I growing buds? Buds? I don't need that much hot beverage, do I? Yes. Yes, I do. So the reasoning is it is actually an ingredient for... Emergency rations. Yes, I am making a little mini emergency ration farm. You can see that the cost is purified water. So one bottle of purified water. Uh, hot beverage. Hot beverage. Ah, okay. Fruit juice. Two fruit juices. Okay. Uh, energy, six energy bars. Wow, that's quite a bit. And three salamis. Okay. So, if you do the math on this, here, let me bring up my document here. If you do the math, it works out um, it's a little bit more clean if you try and make four because, and you optimize all your plots per, um, best yield per plot because this gets really ridiculous. Okay. To make four of the emergency rations, it requires optimized as best as I can. This is without contributing meat. This is so so like not contributing meat. Uh, so the most expensive way of making iron rations or emergency rations, I should say iron rations, there's the D&D -D -er in me. Okay, so what it works out to is you need uh, to make four of them. You will need eight of the alien flowers. So you need eight of... Um, eight of these big alien flowers. You'll need two of the space oranges. So two space orange plants. You'll need, first of all, well, let's, let's go with, if you need, uh, um, Well, seven pumpkin plants, basically, is how it works out. You'll need seven pumpkin plants and 12 of the spice plants. Now, you can opt to supply your own meat, reducing the amount of pumpkin plants required by... Three. So instead of seven pumpkin plants, you would only need four pumpkin plants if you if you contributed your own meat to the um, emergency rations. So 
Without contributing meat, it's 29 plots, with the breakdown follows as eight of the flowers. Where are they there? So eight of the flowers, two of the oranges, um, seven of the pumpkins, and 12 of the spice. That will give you four of the emergency rations. You still have to supply your own water, mind you. But, and that's 29 plots. <clears throat> so to make, to make four of them requires 29 plots. Now the kicker is, the real kicker, that's not too bad. That's not that, it's not completely ridiculous out of the, the reason why it's actually pretty awesome is look at the food count on them is 500, so it's max food, boom. Health is 50, which is pretty decent. And stamina is 70, which is really good. The other good thing about it is they don't spoil ever. So right now my my little mini emergency rations factory is kicking out whatever. It won't be able to keep up with probably the garden, I would assume, because the crafting is so freaking slow <laughs> in the Iron Man um, competition because we have it all set on on hard settings right so including the crafting is all super slow so so you can see it's just like grinding away <laughs> so basically what you do is you set this stuff up you throw all the ingredients in you you crank it up and you just go away you go somewhere else you go exploring you go do whatever and that's what we're going to do so we're going to we're we're just going to grab some food for now we've got a bunch of canned food so let's um, let's just grab, we'll grab all these canned veggies. We've got a bunch of emergency rations on us too. Well, I guess we don't need all the, we can, did I eat all the pizzas really? Oh no, see we've got tons, there's tons in here. Well, those have been sitting for a while, so let's throw those. We'll, we'll take those with us, that'll be fine. We can, um, Let's just eat one. Yeah, I know I ate too much, but huh, I'm a pig. Okay, so <clears throat> we'll we'll let the well it looks like the garden grew again, but you know what? It's gonna take forever for those just to make like ten packs each. So I'm just gonna go away. We're gonna go uh, explore the planet. We're gonna go get the HV situated properly on it, and then I'm going to mine up some restrooms so I can make a bunch of, uh, so I can make a bunch of the ammo for the turrets. Unfortunately, I can't make any of the energy weapons because I just don't have enough of the Zascosium that I'll need. Um, and the Pataxid might be a little bit of a pain in the ass to get, so I don't want to I don't want to limit myself to, because I don't know where to buy the unrefined pentaxid. And I can I can harvest the refined pentaxid and I can buy the refined, but I can't buy the um, unrefined. I can go pick it by hand. So there's that. It's just meh. <laughs> I don't want to. Okay, so let's go, let's go take off. Let's put this in the... We'll just put this in the <clears throat> fridge for now. Okay. okay go, we'll get going here and... Uh, oops, went too high. So, power up the engines. Get the lights going. We'll turn all the weapons on. Why not? Uh, the mini guns, yeah, we'll get those loaded. We're not going to bother with the rockets or the sentries right now. <clears throat> okay, let's, let's just head. So we'll just head down to the planet and hopefully not stumble across the patrol vessel. Because I don't want my, uh, I haven't gotten the HV secured away yet, right? So it's just hanging off the, uh, the end there. I want to get it stowed inside. 
So we'll come we'll come in. Over the water, I'm thinking. That way I can just I can just go down to the water and as long as the patrol vessel isn't our whoop whoa 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 can't see squat. Oh there we go. So I do have some new hardware coming that will make my machine a little bit better. Okay, so this, I knew this was going to be an issue, that look at my power usage. Okay, but I'm not, it's just when I'm turning and maxing out. So when, what about when I lift off? Can I lift off? Yes. So I'm at 81% when I'm lift off, so I'm okay. I will be able to escape. I was a little bit worried, but we can also, I'm assuming, yeah, we're, we're gaining altitude. So we're okay. We're okay. So let's park this thing and what is that? That's a bunch of, is that a POI down there? It looks like possibly. So my mini guns should, yeah, see, there they go. I don't know if they're... Do I just gotta get closer? Oh yeah, see I was way, 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 my range was like way off. I shouldn't have been, I don't know. Okay, so it's a, it is a bug, a serious bug where, where the weapons seem to fire as if they could fire at their very maximum range out in frickin' space. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't seem right at this point. So I've got to go around and like kill all, everything. At like, see it? They're just shooting way, way, way away from... So I gotta go clear the area. So it kind of wastes the ammo. That's fine. See, wh what's it shooting at there? I don't even know. Oh, there's another one over there. Okay, so let's... Let's go get that within range so I can kill that one. So we'll stop shooting at that. Okay, there, now we're in range. It should kill him. There we go. And I don't even know what it's shooting at. Way over there, way over on the horizon. Let's try and get, really, really, come on guns, come on, jeez. I hope they fix that soon, that's really, really bad. <laughs> that's a big waste of ammo, just a horrible waste of ammo in my opinion. Should not be doing, oh, okay, so there's some broken, there's some broken, uh, some broken stuff, that's okay. That's okay. It looks like it looks like we'll be okay here. Let's um, let's lower down. I don't want to fall out of my ship and then not be able to get back in, right? That just suck. Okay, so oops. Okay, my HV is in the water. I'm sure I could just swim down into it, right? Like, the, look at the rads. Nothing's really in the danger zone for me down here, so. Then I could just fly right into the back, I bet. Now let's go down a little bit further. Let's see. Oh, no, I actually flooded the compartment. Can I flood the whole thing? How far can I go in? <laughs> Uh, uh. Oh, it's letting me go right under. Oh, there we go. Now it's floating. No, no, I think I've touched. That's why. Okay, so I can't float. <laughs> good to know. Good to know. But that's okay. It's all pressurized, technically. So, really, there was no water that came inside there. It's it, You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Okay. Let's just go down a little bit. Sorry. 
Sorry, um, the camera is... Okay, so it's it looks like it's in the water a bit there, right? Okay. So let's... Are we stable here? Okay. Okay, so now it's not out of the water again. So now... Okay, so now it's in the water. And we've only got a couple of minutes of... Oh, 22, whatever. Okay, it's... Whatever. We're going to jump out. And we'll go jump onto it. What I should do is set up a signal, or not, um, a sensor, I should say, to open the door and ramp at the same time. There's a drone over there. Ooh. So let's, come on. Get in. Thank you. We'll fire this guy up. Whoa, 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 whoa. That wasn't cool. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get that up. We'll get the, that's okay. We have a, we'll just let it charge. We have a boost. Okay, so, oh, oh come on, really? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what happened there? Oh, you know what? <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot. That's all it is. It's just that I'm an idiot. Okay, so... Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this again. Good thing the patrol vessel isn't coming. Okay. Um, so there we go. We can get in now. Let's go down a bit. Got to get our hover height. Oh, can we get up? Come on, come on. Well, I didn't have to go quite that low, I guess. That's fine. That's fine. We're in. We're in. A little bit more forward. I don't think I can get the door to close. No, that's fine. I'll have to put up a... Oh! Crap. Let's go see what's going on. We've got some... Now, did that even dock? Yes. Okay, good. And I have no idea... Oh, it was a drone over there by the look of where the guns are pointing. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, that was just the test and to get the miner back in. Um, I guess I should have closed the hatch. That was kind of... See, I'm going to go put a sensor on there so that it, when I get close to it, it'll open up the um, hatch and lower the ramp. And then... And same with on the inside, it'll close and open according to where somebody is in that in that sensor spot in the sensor location uh, in the meantime let me check so there's cobalt there I do need cobalt so plas something flying around there coming in at me a plasma drone coming in at me really or is that me just getting close and I can see a drone way up there over there so, how close do we need to be to shoot? There they go. Um, really, I should be looting these things. And, I mean, that was a, what, a large plasma drone? Yeah, I do need the, I do need the gear that they can drop, that's for sure. So let's, let's try this. Straighten out see how bad it is looting from a CV. I mean, technically I won't be doing this. This is crazy for fuel. I, this is this is not the vessel to be doing this with. Trust me, I'm just I'm just screwing around. I'm seeing if I can get my drone out. Come on. Can I? No? What about if I just get back here a little bit? No? Further in, maybe. Further in? Further in. Let's try this. Yeah, see? 
right beside it. Nice. Okay. And booyah! That was that was what I was looking for. <laughs> awesome. So worth it. So worth it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Then we just jump back in. So we jump out. We're beside it. We twist around. We go like that. Oh, we got another incoming. That's fine. That's fine. Where is that? Where's the incoming? Is that him right there? He's like way up there. What is his problem? Oh, and there's another. No, it's this guy. Is this guy the incoming? I think this guy is the incoming. It's okay. We'll kill him. What is he? Mini gun. Uh, what do we get? We get uh, 15 mil bullets from them. Okay, let's take out this guy too. What's he? Mini gun. Come on, shoot, shoot, guys. He's shooting at us. Shoot back. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah. 15 mil bullets, even though that I got, I don't know. I don't necessarily need them. So, let's go take out the cobalt. And basically, I'm going to go fly over there, drop, do my um, HV, and call it an episode. You guys don't want to see me mine a thing of cobalt that's kind of boring. And then I'm going to continue on off camera and get uh, some arrest rim, because there's a, a couple of deposits that I covered and I can go get them with the HV quite quickly and uh, scoop them up and that'll give me enough to have lots of ammo I do have to try and get more oh, what's going on here what's going on I'm shooting at stuff okay so that's my my sentry guns shooting at meanies at baddies on the ground that's okay. So I think what we'll do is how we're we gonna drop this off. It's all kind of sloped here. We'll just do it over here. It's not a big deal. Okay. And we'll come down and land. Hopefully it's not too sloped. Okay, so let's see if I turn the engines off, what happens. Does it rock? Does it fall over? Yeah. <laughs> Completely tips. Wow. That was awesome. <laughs> but I can get it down enough. Come on, there we go. So the so the thrusters aren't freaking out there. If I jump out, there it should stay fine. Okay, it probably does need some fuel though, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a pig, unfortunately. I didn't actually fill it last time, so let's just put some more in. Okay. Okay, so let's see what's the statistics like on it now if it's just parked with the thrusters running to keep it stabilized we're looking at 30 hours okay okay that's fine keep all the guns active oops okay I'll put a I'll put a sensor on off camera, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to jump in here, mine, and uh, move the, there's a couple of spots here, so I do have, see I've uncovered 10 of the, 
They're just everywhere, right? So it's not that big of a deal. Ruins, old base. I'll fly the, um, there's some cobalt in the restroom right there. Magnesium, I don't need any more magnesium. I got way, way too much. Um, and the large restroom over there, there's gold up there I'm gonna go get. There's a crash capital vessel, some wreckage. So I've got some busy work to do before we go and actually go back to Friggle because I need to get this arrest room. I need all the ammo. I need, I can't make ammo right now. Um, so, yeah. Okay, guys. Next episode, we're going to Friggle. We're friggin' going to Friggle. Okay, I keep saying we're going to go to Friggle. We're going to go to Friggle. We have to, because now it's going to be a time crunch. I, I got to get the mission done, so uh, and get that all edited up and get it posted. So you know, uh, it's a time crunch. I have limited time. I have to get that done right away here. So this I got to work on. I got to get my ammo. Okay, guys. Um, thanks a lot. Next episode, friggin' friggle. You guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.